Yo, what is up, Mamba Gang, Mamba Army, Laker fans, and best of all, Kobe fans. Man, everyone around the world, man, welcome back, man. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. This is a channel I made uh, to kind of give you guys uh, inspiration within the Mamba mentality, as uh, Kobe always used to kind of... Uh, you know used to inspire others and uh, also just share my uh, experiences my love for Kobe shoes my love for sneakers my love for basketball uh, but yeah man welcome 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 man um, I feel like I have so much to say in this video um, I don't have any shoes to show you guys today a lot of it is just gonna be just me going over a couple of subjects that I feel need to be discussed um, you know I, I I was this past weekend it is uh, today is um, Monday right and uh, this past weekend this past Saturday actually I picked up a huge Kobe grill I'm not gonna show you guys that grill just yet but please please stay tuned subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more kobe content more shoe content because this is a very rare kobe that is only seen once in a while by very few people um but yeah stay tuned for that um the reason i brought to bring that up is because i was so hyped so happy to cop that shoe and then yesterday sunday and today um I keep getting more news about or, or hearing more news about the whole uh, Vanessa Bryant uh, lawsuit going on right now. The Well, you know, yeah, the lawsuit going on between her and um, the L.A. County sheriffs, you know. Um, if you guys do not know what's going on with that, please, please, please do your research on Google, YouTube. Um, there's not much detailed information. A lot of it is just kind of... You know parts and and main topics and stuff here and there but uh i just kind of wanted to bring that up because i feel like as a diehard kobe fan vanessa being you know kobe's obviously uh his, his wife um everything that she's going through right now and this being the week that it's you know it's kobe Bryant's birthday tomorrow and the ne very next day is Kobe Day. Uh, for her to be going through this situation, man, is crazy, man. I could only... I can't even imagine, to be honest. Such a tough two years going on three that she's been fighting. And and, and just, man, dude, I, I got a little bit emotional earlier because of it. Just hearing the stuff that was discussed in the courtroom. Um, and if you guys don't know, I'll fill you in just a little bit from what my understanding is, is she's going and obviously suing and, and, and don't, just because you hear the word suing, the last thing that you should think about is she's suing for money. Vanessa Bryant is the last person that needs money with all this going on. Um, you know, at least that's, that's just what I strongly believe in and, you know, we're all gonna have our opinions about this subject. We're all gonna have our beliefs and all that, whatever. You guys, I respect everyone's opinion. You know what I mean? But this is my opinion. So from what I kind of heard, um, you know, during YouTube and the videos that I watched and heard, is she's suing them because obviously there was these sheriffs, as many of you guys already know, that took pictures at the crash site when Kobe passed away, when, when the airplane or helicopter went down, you know what I mean? There was these sheriffs, sheriffs that took pictures and it wasn't pictures that they needed for, you know, evidence and, you know, what's on site at the, at the crash or anything. Well, these pictures were actually off their personal cell phones that they were sharing at the bar, at a local bar, maybe the day of or the couple of days of after the accident, you know what I mean? And she's suing because of all the the trauma that she's going through and that she might her and her family might go to go through if those pictures get leaked you know what i mean there's a lot of 
idiot people out there that I, and I hate to say it that way but there is that you know they see it as as look what I got look what I got oh check this out and you know what I mean and next thing you know that picture leads to another person that that person is shared it to someone else and then there's a the careless you know mf out there that just decides to be like well i'm gonna put these on the internet or share them or whatever you know what i mean and it's just like dude like such a sad sad uh situation man imagine her her daughters if those pictures leak and her daughters see that you know what i mean or imagine her her daughter's friends say hey look what i ran into and and there's these pictures of of your of your dad man and it's just Oh man, I don't I don't even want to get emotional in this video, but it's just dude, it sucks, man. And uh, I feel for her, man. And God be with with you, Vanessa Bryan, man. I, um, stay strong through all this, man. I mean, it, it's just hard. It's it's hard. I, I know she has a good support and, and and everything, but it's just like, dude, there's nothing that's gonna bring Kobe back. There's nothing that. I mean, you just, you know, you hear that time heals everything, but something like that, and then having to deal with this afterwards is such a crazy situation, man. And um, yeah, man, I just wanna uh, kind of share the, my, that with you guys because it's 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 unfortunate that she has to go through that, and um, um, it, it saddens me, man. It saddens me that there's people out there, especially a sheriff, that we look we look up to them as as heroes as you know as public figures that are there to kind of be there for us and and um you know whatever man I, man i just uh i'm gonna park my car real quick i just got off work and i was on the way home so i just wanted to kind of speak up with you guys about this because yeah i wanted to kind of concentrate on on this on this on these subjects um so yeah man let me know how you guys feel about this uh, i know it's a touchy subject um like i said i got emotional when you hear those those things just hearing those you know the the news it's kind of explained this it just makes you feel a little bit notion emotional because then you start visualizing those pictures you know what i mean you like they were getting a little bit detailed i'm not gonna go into it but if you guys do your research the way they describe some of those pictures um and, and just the the remains of the crash is horrible man because kobe's like my hero and and my my dude that i looked up to you know what i mean and just to hear that that's how he suffered passing away it just gets me gets me a little bit you know what i mean um so yeah man um i'm just being open with you guys because I feel a lot of guys probably do feel the same way I do right now. And, um, you know, he, he meant a lot to a lot of us. Uh, with that being said, man, um, let me know how you guys feel about that without, you know, going too much into detail. If you guys don't know what's going on, look it up, Google it, YouTube it, whatever. Um, but, yeah, Vanessa Bryan is obviously going through a lot right now. So, you know, um, I... I, I I can't imagine how how strong she has to be right now. I'm just gonna take a couple minutes to kind of uh, cope, or a couple seconds, but yeah, man. Uh, aside from that, man, um, I just want to say thank you, man, to everyone that keeps rocking with this channel. Um, I did explain in my last video that I did start an Instagram uh, that kind of revolves ar around this channel and also a TikTok that also revolves around this channel. The reason for me to do that and doing that is I want to obviously bring um, and share my beliefs, uh, bring my Kobe mentality, my mama mentality out, share with you guys and also share my love through sneakers that you guys can see um, how much I, you know, Kobe meant to me and stuff like that. Um, my vision, to be honest, is just to carry Kobe's legacy, to carry his Mamba mentality, to carry that, what he tried to inspire everyone to do, and that is to be the best version of yourself. You know what I mean? And I strongly believe that everyone has that inside of you. Everyone is, has that inside of them. And we sometimes don't realize how strong we are. We shortcut ourselves. We, uh, I see it all the time, whether it's at the gym, at work, 
um, at home, I feel like we can do so much more at times and, and we get distracted, we get lazy, um, you know, and, and we complain about what we don't have for the hard work we didn't put in, you know what I mean? So remember that, guys. Like, sometimes you just gotta dig deep, gotta dig deep. You gotta be tired of being tired, you know what I mean? You gotta be tired of living the way you do and um, it's, it's sometimes hard, I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of times I don't wanna do a lot of stuff that I have to do, right? But I literally just get inspired by Kobe's words saying that. I wanna be the best version of myself. I could either sit around and make excuses and uh, just be okay with having enough. Uh, but I don't want that, you know what I mean? Um, I wanna be the best I can be in this one life that I got, you know what I mean? And inspire my little brother, inspire my family that, uh, you know, we came from, you know, like as most people say, having nothing to becoming something, you know what I mean? And I don't wanna live, I kinda wanna break that family cycle where we were, we were so uh, accustomed to just having enough and just getting by through the day, living paycheck to paycheck is okay, you know what I mean? And I don't wanna live like that, man. I, I wanna live comfortably where I don't have kids right now, but if I do ever have kids, I wanna inspire them that, hey, anything's possible, man. And mind you, I'm in my 30s. I graduated high school. I went to college for like maybe six months uh, or so and you know, I started working and working. Uh, I got involved with, you know, the wrong crowd. I thought money at the time was the main thing to have. I wasn't paying bills that, mu that much at the time. So my little $300, $400, $400 check, a weekly check was fine to me. You know what I mean? I thought that was, I was balling. Um, but no, my mentality is certain. And, and thankfully, like, I went through my rough patch in my life that thankfully, um, I was able to get out of and now I kind of see and I and I'm not gonna lie I have regret for so much time that I wasted but it's either I keep I keep living in regret and 10 years from now say the same thing man I re I wish when I was 30 I, I would have done this well you know I am 30 right now I'm in my 30s I should be doing what I want to do and what I could be doing instead of living in regret when I get in my 40s or so on you know what I mean so that's the way I see it now and uh, yeah man I just I kind of want to share that with you guys share that with the world so that's why I kind of want to ex uh, um, expand my platforms to other than YouTube and you know get on TikTok get on Instagram and stuff like that so I just want to share that with you guys um, there's so much stuff that I've had in the back of my mind with what I want to do and stuff but that's my main goal uh, the shoot thing, the everything else that I show, my content on YouTube and all that, it's just my hobbies, man. It's what, it, it's what, it's what gives me that relaxation and like that satisfaction of, of enjoy. You know what I mean? Like, man, Kobe's and shoes, and you know that's something that I thought about. It's like, do I really need all these shoes and all that? But shoes used to bring me joy as a kid, man. I don't know why. Maybe it was the basketball thing, the whole basketball and shoe thing. But that's what brings me joy. And I'm like, dude, like if something brings me joy, I gotta make sure that it's not an addiction where it's affecting my lifestyle. You know what I mean, the first? But it's okay, you know what I mean? It's okay to spoil myself here and there. It's okay to enjoy a little bit of life and, and stuff like that, but also have that main goal and, and make sure I'm not getting distracted by anything else. You know what I mean, aside from that. so. I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, um, let me know how you guys feel about the Vanessa thing and in the comments below. I just wanted to make this quick video. I did want to share with you guys also, or, or kind of uh, go, uh, tomorrow is Kobe's Kobe Bryant's birthday. Um, you guys, if, if you guys don't know, now you know. Uh, and obviously the next day is Kobe day. And I wanted to share with you guys also, you know, the Kobe market, where it's at right now, I know overseas uh some of the adidas kobe's have been released over there we haven't got any here in the u.s um but i think i'm gonna save that for another video i think i just wanted to share the vanessa thing today i will most likely make another video tomorrow for kobe day i mean for kobe's birthday um i know a lot of you guys have been asking me is there any news of nike releasing anything as far as with kobe's and no i don't have any news 
Um, I don't know anyone that is a Kobe head right now, and I know a bunch of dudes that are, that have any news regarding any releases going on tomorrow or the next day. So maybe it can be out of surprise. I personally don't think Nike is gonna release anything. I think what happened is they released the Mambasitas. They probably didn't have anything in production because of the contract issues that happened with Vanessa. And they stopped production for any Kobe's. And they might be making something right now for maybe Christmas time. If not till, we're just gonna have to wait till next year. That's my beliefs. I just don't think they're gonna release anything to tomorrow or the next day. I just feel like it's, if they were, they would have already said something. They would have kind of given Kobe his, I guess, respect and making sure to tell his fans, hey, you know, we're gonna be releasing something. But you never know. I'm not 100%, that's just not what I think is gonna happen. So uh, with that being said, man, I'll leave you guys there. Uh, thank you guys so much. I am gonna leave my TikTok, my Instagram, and I think I also even started a Facebook kind of like a little, not a group, but a little, um, I forgot what it's called. Just look me up on Facebook. Facebook is Mamba Kicks LA. Instagram is Mamba Kicks dot LA. TikTok Mamba Kicks LA. I'll leave that all all that information in the description below. But um, yeah, man, thank you guys so much for rocking with me, man. Thank you guys for letting me share my uh, my love for Kobe and all that. And uh, with that being said, man, uh, let me know how you guys feel. Um, yeah, man. Aside from that, man. Um, you know, God be God be with Vanessa and uh, stay strong. And you know what? Till then, man, stay strong, you guys. Every one of you guys, man, bring out that mom mentality at all times. Be the be the best at anything that you do. Whether you are a teacher, an athlete, uh, you know, um, a plumber, whatever job title you have, be the best at it, man. Um, live every day happy as positive as you can man hug your loved ones and uh man i'll see you guys soon peace out